Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. I wanted to take a few moments to go over something that has come up in some of the responses to my videos. And it has to do with how much money does a movie need to make in order to break even or be profitable. Some people are inclined to believe that once the gross ticket sales is equal to or greater than the production budget that a studio has reported for a particular film, that that automatically means that the film is profitable and has broken even. That is actually not the case. And this article, which actually came out in 2020, helps to explain that. And it'll be very clear, I think, once people see this. But... I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who has recently subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. So, how much does a movie need to break even? To answer it very quickly, a ballpark figure for most blockbusters is twice or more of their initial budget. So, this article pretty much follows the same process that I use to estimate a film's break-even point. There are generally two parts of financing a film, making the movie itself and marketing it. The first expense making the film includes everything from paying the cast and crew, creating the set, special effects, and other post-production. Then comes the marketing, which is getting people aware that the film is coming out. Marketing budgets vary greatly. Smaller films don't usually market themselves as aggressively, while films with a budget of more than around $75 million commonly fall around half the amount of the film's production budget, which is quite a big chunk of change sometimes. This includes circulating ads and trailers, working with other companies for product tie-ins, and creating events for greater visibility and awareness. While many movies stick to trailers on YouTube and TV, other films go the extra mile to get people's attention. Take Star Wars, for example. On top of the tie-ins with cereal boxes and Uniglow, Disney has been trying desperately to break into the lucrative Chinese market, putting 500 stormtroopers on the Great Wall of China for several of their movie launches. The studios have even poured money into frozen displays and events in malls in faraway countries like Malaysia to garner hype around the movie. Rental, props, actors in multiple locations, you can imagine just how much money is poured into getting the word around. It's not just about tickets sold either. Studios haven't made their money back just because the box office figures on Wikipedia doubles its budget. So here's an interesting thing here. In order for a film to break even, the total gross ticket sales that it makes needs to be much greater than what the original production budget was. Theaters get a cut of a film's earnings too. Every studio has a varying degree of bargaining power with cinemas they sell the film to. The larger a film, the more people it will likely draw to the cinemas. Studios can use this bargaining power to demand a bigger cut and set the number of screenings. But on average, studios normally take in 50% of domestic ticket earnings and 30% of the international ticket sales. So this is something that is extremely important here to realize. Theaters that play a film take at least half of the gross ticket sales for themselves because they have their own employees and expenses to pay too. Thus, studios only get up to half of the reported gross box office ticket sales. This is why the lowest possible break-even point for a film is at least double the production budget. And normally, because of marketing and advertising, it goes much higher. And because internationally, they don't make as much money, this is why a studio needs to make more than twice the amount of the production budget in most cases. Oftentimes, people will say that a film's break-even point will be somewhere between two to three times the production budget. I generally use two and a half because it falls directly between two and three. It's just the midway point, and it's an easy number to remember, and it's just a rough estimate. 
It's very hard to tell what a film's actual break-even point is because studios don't always provide accurate information about production budgets. Sometimes those are just estimated numbers. And studios never provide information on how much the marketing and advertising for a film cost. So this is all a lot of guesswork. But ultimately, the two and a half that I use or the two to three times the production budget, yeah, that's pretty much the best you can hope for as far as estimating how much money a film needs to make in gross ticket sales in order to break even. Say a film has a production budget of $100 million. If it has only made $100 million at the box office, it still needs to make at least another $100 million just to get past that initial point of paying off the theaters. For a film that has a $100 million budget, its break-even point may be around $250 million. For a film with a $200 million budget, it's probably going to be closer to a $500 million break-even point. This is just how things work, because the theaters keep at least half or more of the ticket sales for themselves. So I hope that clarifies things, and I hope that makes it a little more understandable as to why I use a value of 2.5 times the production budget as a way to estimate where a particular film's break-even point is. All it is is a rough estimate because studios never provide very accurate financial information for films. It's a guess, but it's based on knowledge of how much money the theaters often keep for themselves as well as the fact that there are other costs beyond the original production budget. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.